Yes, back here. Hi, um, I probably follow you with the mathematical type thing. I'm just wondering, you talked about essence there. Would you take essence, if you want it in your ontology, in a anti-realist view or a realist view? All right, this is where I have really struggled with terminology. As I said, anti-realism usually goes under the name nominalism. But, as you perhaps know, nominalism is a dirty word in theology and in the history of theology. And what goes under the name of nominalism among contemporary philosophers has nothing to do with historic nominalism in theology. And so I have been casting about looking for some other label for this than nominalism because I don't want to write or do or say anything that would lead people to think, for example, that God is not essentially good or that God is not essentially omnipotent. I am not a nominalist in the sense of denying that God has essential properties. Now, where I would be a nominalist would be saying I'm not a realist about properties, but I, I certainly do want to affirm the truth that necessarily God is omnipotent, necessarily God is good, necessarily human beings are rational animals. So it will just be a matter of affirming these truths, but without saying in an ontologically heavy way there are properties, there are these essences, or, or to, to make clear that one is using figurative language and saying that God exemplifies the property of goodness. I'm speaking figuratively there. Right? I'm, I'm using the figure of speech of exemplifying a property. And that shouldn't be understood as a metaphysically literal assertion that there is this thing, this, this object, goodness, to which God stands in this mysterious relation of, of exemplification. Do you see what I mean? So that's part of the difficulty. Now, now anti-realism is a good name because it contrasts so nicely with realism and ah-realism. You get a nice trichotomy there. But then some postmodernist is going to come along and think you're an anti-realist about God or, or something of that sort. And of course, that's not what, what is meant. So one can only hope here that one's readers and interpreters will be sympathetic rather than um, malicious in how they construe what one is saying. So, so if I was to say that all of us exemplify humanity or have the essence of that, would you say that's just figurative speech or a fetus exemplifies humanity? Yes, I, let, let's drop the word just, okay, because that, that, see, that's sort of pejorative. I would say, yeah, that's figurative speech to say that you exemplify the essence of rational animality. That is a figurative way of saying that you are essentially rational and animal. And that I can say literally. God is essentially good. Um, but, but so it's kind of like the real content of the, the metaphorical talk of having a property or exemplifying an essence.